Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another English lesson with me, Jessica Ojeda. Well, let's talk about love, shall we? <laughs> okay, I want to talk about love. And I have a lot of funny memories with love, a lot of bad memories with love. And I'm going to show you some of these commonly misunderstood and misused phrases in English. Okay, so I love you. You've probably learned we only have one way to say I love you in English, but that's not true. We have two ways. We can say I love you, con todas las palabras, I love you, así es muy fuerte. Y eso quiere decir que te amo, okay? Si estoy hablando por teléfono y yes, yeah, we're going to hang up. Si estoy hablando con mi mamá, por ejemplo, and I hang up on my mom at the end of the conversation, Ella me va a decir algo como, okay, pues nos vemos, love ya. I'll see you later, love ya. Or I'll talk to you later, love ya. Love ya, así. No es I love you. Uh -uh. Eso es te amo. Love ya es más como te quiero. Y también se escribe así, love ya. Por ejemplo, al final de un correo, si escribo un correo a mi prima, al final voy a poner siempre love ya. Pero si es un correo muy importante, o... Oh, Estoy compartiendo mis sentimientos, you know, deep, my deep feelings with my cousin. I will tell her I love you, like that. Okay, next. What about I like you and do you like me? I like you is <laughs> me gustas. You please me is what it really says. You please me, okay? So therefore, in English, tenemos que decir I like you para decir me gustas. Okay? This is a mistake my <laughs> first husband made. Eddie, he told me one time, he told me, you like me. One time when I was hanging out with him and I was thinking, yeah, I like you, but that's really arrogant. You know, I didn't understand why he told me that I liked him. But what he tried to tell me was that he liked me. <laughs> Lo que me quiso decir él fue that he meant to say, I like you and not you like me. So, don't mess that one up because I thought he was very arrogant. Okay, <laughs> do you like me? You know, um, this is different. Te gusto, do you like me? Do I please you? Literalmente, así es, así es en inglés. Do I please you? Pero no hablamos así. Hablamos así. Do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me? You know? Now, this one, <laughs> Eddie also messed this one up. Because he said, he said, I wish you. Wish. And I thought, what's he wishing for me? Is he wishing that... I don't know, what was he wishing about? I didn't understand what he told me. But what he was trying to tell me was, de deseo, okay. So he, he told me, I wish you, but that's not right. That's wrong, it doesn't make any sense. We have to say, I want you, and that means de deseo. And now, a good phrase to know is also, I don't want you, so go away, please. I don't want you, no te deseo, uh -uh. I don't want you. So, just forget it. <laughs> okay, so let's review this side and then we'll go on to this side with some vocab. I love you. Te amo. Love ya. Te quiero. Y repita conmigo, por favor. I love you. Love ya. Love ya. I like you. I like you. Do you like me? Do you like me? Remember to make it a question. Make it go up at the end. Do you like me? Do you like me? You know? I want you. I want you. And I don't want you. I don't want you. Okay, now let's go to this side. Now we have some vocabulary. I don't want to accept it's a vocabulary, okay? To be in love with someone. If you're in love with them, you love them like this. But this is to be in love with someone is stronger than just this love. This is the love you feel with, for your partner. 
Mm. So you love, you can be in love with your boyfriend. You can be in love with a stranger and they not even know it. It doesn't have to be reciprocated love. You can be in love with anyone you like. It doesn't matter. So, to be in love with. No. To be broken hearted over someone. That's if you're in love with them and they're probably not in love with you. Then you are probably broken hearted over them. And that's not fun. Not fun at all. Okay? To dream of someone. A lot of times when you're in love with someone, you'll probably dream about them. To dream of. I dreamed of you last night or I dreamed about. So we can put about here too. But you cannot say with. No se puede decir I dreamed with someone. Así no. Okay? So you can't do that. You have to say to dream about someone or to dream of someone. So if you are in love with them, you're going to be dreaming about them or dreaming of them more than likely. Okay. And also, if they love you back <laughs> and y'all are both in love together it's possible you may marry them so you marry someone okay es casarse con alguien to marry someone so i was in love with my first husband and i married him you can't say i married with him mm -mm. just marry someone don't say with now, to fall in love with someone, that's the first step, right? You fall in love. Um, the beginning of the love is when you're falling in love, and it's all romantic, and you get like little, I don't know, butterflies in your stomach or something, and you can feel your love getting stronger and stronger with them. You're falling in love. And it's amazing if you can keep falling in love with that person for the rest of your life. Apparently, that doesn't happen very often. So, <laughs> now, last one. To be in love with someone, but not... No, excuse me. I misspoke. To love someone, but not be in love with them. Okay, so, I love my mom, but I'm not in love with my mom. Okay, because that would be, you know, like, these right here. <laughs> That's that kind of love, to be in love with someone. You're going to have these types of feelings. So you can love someone and not be in love with them. And you can also have this feeling for your partner. Um, and this is the reason why a lot of marriages and a lot of relationships fail. That you may love your partner, but you might not be in love with them. And that's a problem. And if you can't be in love with them... Well, I'm not going to give you love advice, but typically, if you can't love them, you just need to let them go. So, to love someone, but not be in love with them. Let's review quickly, and that's going to be the end of this lesson. So, to be in love with someone, to be brokenhearted over someone, to dream of someone, or to dream about someone, to marry someone, to fall in love with someone, to love someone but not be in love with them. Okay? This is our love lesson. And if you're broken hearted, your heart will look like that. That's not a good call. You need your heart to look like this. Full, full, full. <laughs> That's the way we want our hearts to look. Okay, well thank you all for watching with me. I would like to ask you a question about your love. Um, if you could tell me about your first love. Okay? I'll tell you really quick about mine. I love this little boy named Lance, and I loved him from second grade till sixth grade. And in sixth grade, he changed schools, and I never got to tell him that I loved him. But I always watched him, and I always admired him. And in fifth grade, oh, fifth grade was such an awesome year for me because this little boy got to sit right in front of me the whole year in fifth grade. And he didn't have any idea that I was in love with him. And I loved my little first love. It's such a good little feeling. But tell me about your first love, okay? And please subscribe in plus one in Google Plus, please. Thank y'all. Bye. And I also love all y'all.